Today I'm going to show you how to do a full disassembly on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. I repeat, we're going to do a full breakdown on this 3D printer so that you can fix any issues. So what happens is the filament comes from over here, goes up the PTFE tube, goes down into the extruder and through the nozzle. I'm going to show you how to take apart this head unit because chances are it's not an extruder problem but actually a filament issue. Step number one is to make sure your machine is shut off. Step number two, to take this face off. What I usually do is put my fingernail in this little section right here move the head unit over a little bit, just kind of get your nail in there and peel it off here. Give that a little pull. Next, what we want to do is move this head unit over a little bit just so it's out of the way of this. Next, we want to remove this nozzle cover. This is like a little rubberized cover. You can kind of just pull this down here. Ugh. There. It, next, what we're going to do is actually remove the nozzle here. There's a little clasp here. So what we can do here is undo that. And then there's another little flap that we got to push left. You can, you can use your hands here or you can use like a small screwdriver. Next, what we want to do here is we want to cut the filament by using this side cutter. All you have to do is click this in here, give it a hard click. Then what we can do here is retract the filament. So give that a little pull. If the filament is having issues, what you can do is go to the main menu here and click on filament and then unload. It will then heat the nozzle and you'll be able to pull back the filament for sure. So that process is done. As you can see here, we should be able to just pull back this filament nicely. There you have it. Make sure you give the nozzle enough time to cool down after doing that. All right, so let's get back to removing the nozzle here. As I was saying, what you wanna do is undo this clasp. Once you have done that, the nozzle should come out fairly easy. I don't advise using a screwdriver right away. Sometimes what happens is there's a piece of filament that, because you cut off the filament right here, right? So there's sometimes like a chunk of filament that's still above the nozzle. So we kind of have to like, as we take it down, pull it. Sometimes it just comes out pretty easy though. Let's give this, an, let's give this a, just a quick little pull here. Sometimes if you push the bottom down first and then pull down like that, like so. All right, so here is the piece of filament that I was talking about because when you use the cutter, it comes out above it a little bit. So grab a pliers. And what we want to do here is just give this a yank and take a look at the end. You know, what does it look like? Let's see if I can get the camera to focus here a little bit. Does it look weird? Because most of the time when this printer clogs, it's because the nozzle has something weird out going on with the tip of it. If I'm being honest with you, I would just buy a new nozzle. Like if you're having a lot of issues with like clogging and such, just get on Bamboo Labs website and purchase them. I even buy them on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. So as you can see here, the disassembly and teardown of the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini isn't as hard as a lot of people think it is. What a lot of people will do is stick a needle inside the tip here and kind of clear it out, but I honestly don't even mess with it for the price of what these nozzles cost. I just buy new ones and throw them in there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to work our way up, just like I was saying. So if your clog isn't in the nozzle and the issue isn't in there, chances are it's between this filament holster or the chamber, whatever you want to call it, and inside of here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move towards taking this apart and showing you some tricks on how to unclog this if filament is stuck in here. So first, what you need to do here is we need to remove this PTFE tube from this little insert right here. What you can do is use a tweezers or like a screwdriver. Just be very gentle. You don't want to wreck these. Just pull down on both sides of it and it should come right out. All right, next what we want to do here is we want to remove this filament chamber. And what we need to do is we need to press this little insert right there and then this should pop right up. So using a tweezers here, all we have to do is get the tip of the tweezers here under this tab and then push up on it. It's a little scary. You just gotta trust yourself. That's scary. Take All right, so now that we have this little filament chamber open, what we can do here is look through here, try to see if the filament is in there. And what you can do here is you can run a piece of filament through each one of these holes just to make sure they're all clear. And if you can't see a clog in here, then chances are it's probably in this next piece. What you can try to do is run a piece of filament all the way through there which we'll do right now. All right, so let's cut a piece of filament here. The piece doesn't need to be that long, maybe like eight or nine inches. And all we're gonna do here, try to straighten the piece of filament, maybe apply some heat, is we are just gonna run it through here to see if it just goes straight through there, see if we have any clogs here. And kind of just turn it through there and see if the filament will be pushed through. You can kind of see it going through there, so the extruder is good. So honestly, I think my clog personally 
was in the nozzle here. And guys, right here, this part is actually the extruder. The screws you see are what open it up, but a lot of people think that's what's clogged and why it's not extruding, but that's actually not the case. These machines rarely have extruder issues. It's usually a filament jam in the nozzle or above it. Then just kind of help turn it back so the filament goes through there perfect. So then what we're going to do here is we're going to put everything back together as we took it apart. So first I'll apply this back on here. Kind of put your hand underneath here as you click that down. Sometimes it's hard to push down and get that to click. Make sure that presses down freely. They, we can reattach our PTFE tube. Just click that down. Then we're going to reattach our nozzle. You have to make sure this is in the appropriate way. This flat part right here gets faced against that. And sometimes it just has to kind of seat in there perfect. There it is. And then put this first latch over and then the last right here. And then we have the nozzle guard right here. We put this on. And again, guys, if you're continuing to have like clogging, change out your, your nozzle. Like that's going to be the fix, honestly, for most of your clogs or broken filament in your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. Then reattach the face plate here, which is really easy to do. Just click that on there. And then just go ahead and reload your filament, extrude it out of the nozzle, and test a print. That wraps up the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini disassembly. This is how to do a full teardown on this 3D printer.